everybody in the club gets. <laughs> I, should, I shouldn't open with that song. A, it makes me sound old, and B, uh, I don't go to the club. So if you can imagine, I don't go to the club. I know. I know I seem like a club goer, but uh, aye, aye, aye. Uh, hello everybody, how's it going? Sorry, I was checking my phone one last time. We should be okay. Let me. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're good. All right, what do I do, everybody? I have my coffee. I have Ratchet and Clank. Oh, I'm getting better at knowing the directions. There they are. Um, fun updates, real quick. So in. 13 days, my fiance and I are moving into our new house, which means I'll have a gaming room, which means um, my setup will hopefully be uh, nicer. <laughs> I can get the arm for my my uh, my mic. I have one, but it doesn't fit on this desk, so I bought a desk that I have to build, um, and it's gonna be it's gonna be so much fun. I'm really excited. We're gonna have good Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna have my own space to stream, so it's gonna be good. Um, I don't even have the game up. Hold on. Where is game? Disco Elysium. Horn Dog Detective Man. Oh, oh, I love when OBS automatically adds it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. You all right? You doing okay? All right, we're. we're Okay. I think uh, Steam just updated, so maybe it's lagging a bit. Zam. Okay, so when we last left off, I gotta do this before we start, otherwise, um, I think it cuts into precious time that we have to investigate. So we were looking into the fiance is running around. Uh, we were looking into the uh, lorries where they were selling drugs, and we kind of got that resolved, and we told the lady about it. So, oh, and she shared information about the guy who was killed, um, which is that he was one of three, like, mercenaries hired to help with the strikes and stuff, I think. And he um, did inappropriate things to a woman against, you know, with no consent, which poo on him and he got killed for it um and the other two mercenaries are like a wall we don't know where they are but we're gonna go find out i think we also need to do karaoke i know <laughs> uh and some other stuff so all right let's go kim my best friend i forgot to scroll out okay so there's a lady up there but I don't think I can get in. Can I try again? A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment building. It's locked. Oh, yeah. I already did those. I was like, hi, we're actually police. And she was like, F off. And I was like, that's fair. All right, I'm out. Okay, so. Hold on. This is where the kids were, right? What is that? Yeah, Kuno. Okay. Hi. Trying to sneak up on me again? Can I talk to him? No. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the one that took the gun. Cause she calls us pig. Can I go in here? There must be another way into the building. Why was that echoing so weird? <laughs> um, Kim? Hello? Hey, what's that noise down there? Probably them throwing rocks at a dead body like psychopaths? What's this? It's locked. What is wrong with these kids? Can I get up there? No. Okay. Well, I think, uh, I don't know if we could get... I'm- Yo, no, 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 there is a hole in the fence, so we can get back there. Okay, let's go that way then. Uh, and talk to the children. And, 
And maybe take the body down? Because that's kind of a bad look. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I, I still wish we could walk a little faster. <laughs> that's the only thing I got against the game. And that's not much. Alright, we're looking for... Garbo. To pick up on our way. There's that girl. There's that guy. Oh, that's the, um... Trash can that I padded and told it was a good trash can. <laughs> okay, let's go back there. So, I think if... Four o'clock, something happens. Like the door is open. Should I double check that? Real quick. I don't want to miss anything. I think we could go into the kitchen or something. I don't remember. Hey, lady. Oh, it's open! I think I checked. Excuse me. Dishes are drying the smell of chemicals and tree pines. Pine tree. Tree pines! Why can't I read? Hey. A oh. thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's cook. Okay. As you step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. The only words you can make out are Garanzi and Kubek. Okay. It's definitely not his name. Whatever you do, please don't call him Garancy Quebec. Please. It's not funny. Uh, ah, Garancy, I have some questions to ask. The man puts his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. I don't think I need anything else to stay masculine. What the fuck is that? You got some impressive pots there. He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. I don't see any pots. I see a pan. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes boiling and simmering on the stove. Aroma of spices, alcohol, and tomato. I was like, who is that phasing through the wall? It's Kim. <laughs> the man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod. Oh, okay, so I can't ask him anything? Okay. Anything else? Where does this go? You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. Touch the door. I thought this said torch. Touch the door. Try to push on the door. I wonder where this door leads. I'll be back door. Mark my words. Touch it. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. The stainless steel door is flush with its frame on every side. Maybe it's a freezer? Old cobalt paint. Rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since this was painted, maybe. It leads to a side building adjacent to this one. The old building next to this, half ruined. Whatever is behind it must be older. The door does not budge. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? I'm drawn to its cobalt blue. It's part of the whirling and rags. There's something about this place that makes me want to know. Out of duty. We may find something pertinent to the investigation. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I suppose it's worth seeing if we can get in. Just to be thorough. As a side investigation. Yes, a mini side investigation. No, the door is a mega investigation. The door and the main investigation will merge into a serial investigation. Ah, uh, yes. Garth is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Okay. Yo, Garth. What behind the door, bruh? Garth. Garth? The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place? Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. 
This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41. Oh, sorry. I thought I, I clicked out to see if chat was updating. Hi, Tim Tam. Welcome to the stream. I thought I cut off the audio. He looks to you realizing he still doesn't know your name. Uh, the Harbinger of Ruin. What is gold and orange like a forest fire? <laughs> it smells like liquor. I'm currently in between names. Can I have a drink? I'm going to go with this one. Are you kidding me? No, man, help me out. What is gold and orange and smells like liquor? Kim is about to say something, let him. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report a dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. Oh. She usually works the bar here. I'm only Prior now? Oh my god, look at it! We got the notification! That's so exciting! Thank you for the follow! That was so cute! Oh, I love it. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I only just got here. It's probably Sylvia who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily taking over her duties. Okay. We haven't met Sylvia yet. The notice work? Yeah, it's so exciting. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. So we don't even know who called in the body? This sounds like something you can use to call this Sylvie later. Okay, <laughs> why do you gotta say it like that? You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? What, of Martinez? No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. <laughs> use? Game? <laughs> Live in Jamrock. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are, but as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. Ah, Priorum, why? Why is it spam? No. Thank you, Tim Tam. Oh, the moderator worked. I tried to make you a mod and it told me no. Oh, well, I'm glad it worked. Sick. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Tim Tam. Uh, prior, I mean, I'm glad that we got to see the follower notification. Single tier. I didn't imply that. Detective. Why would we imply that we want you to start working here again? I don't care. He probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Right then. Questions. I got this. Who? Me? No, I'm good. Uh, questions. His face expresses profound doubt in your having this. Okay, sir. Where exactly is the body? Who killed him? Why did so... You know, I actually can't... Uh, I know where the body is. I need to ask about the door. Why did Sylvie go away? Haven't you asked me that already? What is it with you and this woman? She has nothing to do with this. Now, before I asked you where, and I'm asking you why. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. Ugh. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Bruh. Thank you. The lieutenant says he opens his little notebook at the cover. The number is safely tucked away in a small pocket. Mystery solved. Is it? Because I thought you were supposed to be investigating the lynching, not my employer conduct. This stuff gets on my nerves. I'm a feminist. I guess I like to be thorough. Everything has something to do with everything. I don't know. I just went for it. You're right. I probably shouldn't have asked. Well, everything has something to do with everything. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. None of these have to do with the door. Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. How do we get there, then? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. This man means the heavy cavalry of the innocent Franco-Negro. Sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind. Fifth century style. Unified currency and the concept of cool came in their wake. 
They wore lamella and carried guns. But first and foremost, Franco-Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That hole in the fence must be enormous. We've seen the hole. I thought we were asking him about the door. I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. He doesn't know. He just said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they? Did you kill him? Yeah, that's a, that's great. That'll have a son. You know, I, I did not see the end of your comment. No Riz. I just recently learned what Riz is. And I sound like a grandmother when I say that. But like, sometimes I just like don't think to ask what words mean when I see them online. I'm old. Uh, before, before you said, before you say it, I'm goofy. Before you said they hoisted him up on it. I'm not gonna do that. Who did you mean by they? Uh, oh, people are saying it was the union dock workers. That it was a lynching. Who is saying that? The locals, the customers, the people who <laughs> eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Okay. That's good. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would the dock workers lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. Okay. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The unionists probably thought they'd send a message. Did you kill him? I'm not going to do that. I have, I have another question. The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. That's all? Let's go. Ooh! Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. I don't owe you shit. What's real? <laughs> uh, slip away, I notice. As you blow this joint, Behind you, a whiny voice shouts. Real mature, man. Real mature. I just fucking booked it. I have another question. That's all. What about the door? They're like, let's go talk to the cafeteria guy about the door. Oh, we're not supposed to talk to him about the door? Okay. Sing karaoke. Hold on. Close the water lock on Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Knickknacks. Okay. Oh my god. So. Oh, uh, body. We're gonna go look at the body. Would you want to know about the. What? The blue door in the kitchen. I, I swear they said to go ask the him about, like, where it goes. But then that wasn't even an option. Well, I can zoom out. That's the only reason I went to talk to him. Letter R wears a crown on the ribbon below, a light above descending. I haven't kept up, I'll see it sometime. Oh, it happened like five minutes ago. It happened like right before you came in, I think. There was like a, there's a blue door in the kitchen and they're like, huh, wonder where that goes. Maybe we should go ask the cafeteria manager. <laughs> Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being composes. Okay, thank you for that. What is this? This winch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. Okay, what's this? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. What is this? Why am I looking at this pile of the roofing material? Because it's Fuck. nice and orderly. Well laid pallets, easy on the eyes. Rhythmic pattern calms your mind mammals like this stuff what is this it's nothing someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack i thought i was looking at the door glad you asked when junior researcher olari tal invented etonite in the vartner polytechnic institute some 30 odd years ago he thought it would last forever hence the name etonite sadly the only lasting <laughs> thing turned out to be the material's highly carcinogenic effect. Okay. Yo, I thought I could, like, um, use the crowbar on this. But I guess not. Can I get up there? I don't know. Alright. 
Oh my god, it's snowing. Yo. What is this? What is this? Hold on. Hold on. What is it? What is... What? 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 Ugh. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 pairs have walked here. I roll for using crowbar on boarded up door A. One. You pull out your encyclopedia. I know, right? What do you think you are? A super detective? Fuck. You're hungover. These are just dents in the mud. No pattern emerges for the time being. Bro, what kind of boots? Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Mm. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Lieutenant, workers' boots, tr boot tracks. Noted. <laughs> Ow. I didn't have my head on that. Noted. Okay, great. Apparently, I'm too dumb to count. Kids' ladder is rickety, but still climbable. Okay, I really don't want to climb that. Hey. How's it going, child? Kuno's got this. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. I mean, he looks older than 12. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. It's so mean. Oh yeah, not a comfy Kuno. What? Yells the other kid behind the fence. Oh, neither of these are girls. I'm sorry. My bad. Hey, kid, a word? A uh, moment of your time, please. Bro, <laughs> it's a great beard. Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. The children ignore you. It's love it in the dick. Oh my god. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Hold on, what does that mean? Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. Is he on drugs? The kid is obviously high. Oh, uh, hey. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. No. Yeah, Kuno! Ride the lightning, Kuno! Jesus. Kuno's rising at sea. He wipes sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying. You should what? I know. The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! Who's throwing a rake? The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Bonk. This game is wild, man. Do you know how many people commented on my... I posted the VOD on YouTube because it's been like a week. And like three people were like, my favorite game ever. I'm like, what? I'm like, worried. <laughs> worried about what kind of people they are. No, I'm kidding. It's a cool game. It's bizarre as shit, but it's cool. Um, kid, kid, you want to hang? I'm not a narc. Okay. Kim, what should we do? Look, I have quite, what should we do? We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. What forces? You will see. The language these kids are using. Pure, unfettered id. There will be no reasoning with those creatures. Kid, you want to hang? I'm not a narc. Fuck no. Kuno doesn't buy that shit. Fucking entrapment shit. Fast. This kid has got street smarts. Are you kid siblings? The fuck are you talking about? He throws another rock. He's calling us f Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. That is not what I said. Look, I have questions for you. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. <laughs> I'm scared. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. Oh, what do you know about the body? Shitload pig, what's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno. This is where you quickly ask him questions. Real cop questions. Like a cop. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fuck him. Kuno uses the fuck him for target practice. Okay. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. I meant who he was before he died. Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make Kuno sing into the popo phone. The popo phone. How do you know how we got up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. Probably climbed. 
Okay. When that, uh, you didn't see it happen. You ate Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Okay, where'd you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... He looks around, trying to come up with something. Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. His, uh, his, like, what is this? Model is terrifying. It looks like he has no eyes. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Where is Night City? Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Oh, God. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. Oh, God. That always makes me want to throw up. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Kuno. That's one name you can now cross off the list. Okay. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Okay. You're testing Kuno's patience here, bruh. Get lost. Stop calling people that. Uh, you guys play often here? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? The ladder yours? What's in the greenhouse? Kuno, there's a stack of eternite back there. That's just some shit roofing gimps left behind, lazy dinks. He's hiding something. Are you hiding something? Pig, if Kuno was hiding something, it would be hidden. <laughs> He says with exaggerated confidence. But it is not hidden, is it, sire? You picked up on it. You should examine the pile of roofing material again. Sure. That ladder yours? No, it's not fucking Kuno's. It's ancient. Look at it. He thinks you're fucking full, Kuno. He says you climb the ladder up to your magic tree house. Get the fuck out of here, pig. Kuno doesn't have a magic tree house. Drugs, man. What's in the greenhouse? I don't know. Kipped ass gardener used to work there. Kipped is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Eri Oppergeit descent. It used to be a common first name among the Eri Oppergeits of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. You mean the young woman? Look, Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. He looks you in the eye and nods as if agreeing with himself. Yeah. Her. All right. What was she doing in the greenhouse in March anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? I mean, March is spring, right? Isn't that... Is it not normally warm in March? Maybe not. I feel like people start, like, planting spring flowers in March, no? Fish is sometimes used to fertilize the soil a few weeks before planting something. Maybe she was preparing the garden beds. Yeah, there's probably fish. I'm not going to ask her about it. I should ask her about it. Yes, it seems suspicious. You don't like things being like that. Suspicious. Fair. I might have questions later. Bye. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. I gotta ask, who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig? The boy points to his chest with both thumbs. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly, the kid's using the third-person perspective as a shield. Oh, okay. Interesting. You refer to yourself in the third person to distance yourself from the situation. So you refer to yourself in third person. Kuno, is that some kind of gang name? Yeah. Kuno's in a fucking gang. In a bang gang. Kuno bangs for Maggie. Bangs for Mazda. Bangs for Revachol. Watch out, Kuno. He's trying to fiddle you. He's going to put his hands on you. The thing behind the fence starts squealing shrill and violent like a fire alarm. Help! Song gets louder as a child shouts at the windows overlooking the yard. Help! He's got the Kuno help! Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. I'm just gonna leave. Yeah? Get out of here before the Kuno beats the shit out of you. What the hell, man? Yeah, that's right. Drag your fat ass out of here, fat boy, before Kuno fucks you. Bro! Oh, oh, oh. Bye! <laughs> got fucked by the Kuno. We alright. You wanna get fucked again? Come back. Yo, my morale is going to start plummeting. Bro, I got to go. Oh, wait. Can I look at the body? I probably should look at the body, right? 
The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like <laughs> and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. <laughs> I can't. You seem to be holding your breath. Look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? It's been rotting outside. Active decay. Yeah. It's okay to throw up with his arm. <laughs> no one is judging. It's okay to throw up. He's about to blow. Cock's gonna blow, Kuno. Shut up. God. The ladder's for kids. It wouldn't hold the weight of a grown man. I mean, would you need to use the ladder? You could just, like, throw one end of the belt over right and then i mean what do i know but that would be my guess okay i think we're good did you have to investigate all oh, the pile thank you tim tim my memory is dog poo poo okay so uh apparently this was that oh thank god oh we needed another morale healing item i started losing my mind what is this an inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. Come on. Because there's a secret door hidden behind the panels of Etonite. That's why they're too orderly. I knew it. There it is. You see a shabby little door. Okay. What is this, then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Let's go! Police work! Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is that? What is this? An empty tube of Magnesola magnesium supplement tears. Magnesium supplement you rub on your chest to live a happy magnesium rich life. Okay. Oh, there's a ladder! Uh, uh, hello? Did that hint just say need to do something alone? Sneak out when he's not there? What is this? Oh, oh, okay, okay, we're, okay, hold on, okay. Okay, our, okay, 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 okay. Okay, this is a long walk. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. Okay. When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on its back. You son of a gun. It's a cop's cloak. Yes, it's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia, and you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. Oh, that's my code? Oh. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. Look around. What exactly are we doing up here? Do you really think this cloak is mine? Should I go for it? Jump. Yeah, let's try it. Did I just hurt myself? Am I going to plummet to my death? Nope. No. That's still too high. <laughs> what were you thinking? You're not a gymnast. You're a boxer. And you've climbed way too high up here. What, where is he reading that from? You could have died there. Shit, 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 shit. I'm failing you. This wasn't part of our deal. Hey, hey, what happened? Uh, I'm all right, can I, I just can't do it right now. I understand. We can always come back when you are feeling better. It's just a cloak after all. Oh, but what if my gun's in it? The wind is aggressive up here. Oh wait, it's not. The Lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance over the container yard. My badge could be in it, but the gun was sold. I think it was sold to the child. No, it was sold to a girl. I don't know then. That machine is a Kvalsund 1020HK. Just a machine, Lieutenant. Like a giant hammer or a pair of pliers. Let him have this moment of wonder. 
His eyes traced the crane's contour, as if trying to memorize its majestic shape. Then he notices your gaze. Yes. We were in the middle of something. Uh, your clock. Uh, not right now. We can't, like, climb down. Like, literally, this ledge is not that high. Just, like, carefully climb down, man. Hi, Golden. Welcome to the stream. We're being detectives. Okay. This doorway is going to collapse soon. Oh, shit. Get through. Get through. What about this? Restoration pillars keep the ruins together. There's a bucket. Postcard? Okay. So... Whoa, we need to go back. In. There. Store down money? Put a plastic bag. Collect bottles. All right, what is this? Cured pig's head. That's terrifying. Okay, what is this? Silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. Ah, drugs. The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. There's a good vague way to ask where he stands on drug use. Professionally, I mean. I've heard amphetamines make you a really good detective. Are you a really good detective? I wasn't thinking about taking it, I swear. I was thinking about justice. Someone has taken narcotics here. Perhaps the police should interfere? Perhaps not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However... He points to the ladder in the corner. But that there was an interesting find. An alternative path into the harbor that the kid uses. Well done. Thank you. Poster says, get out of the way or get fucked up. Nice. Alright. I think we've done everything. Okay. I thought it was going to say, like, that ladder could be used to hang the body. But. Horkney, please. <laughs> Hi, Rick Roo. Welcome to the stream. Oh, y'all missed this disaster interaction with the children. It was terrible. I will never be the same. What do we got? What's this? A uh, postcard depicts an ill-advised residential area overlooking the Jamrock Quarter. 13-story buildings line the hillside like sarcophagi. An enormous... Oh my god. An ominous fog already rising from behind. These are the last boom years. In 39, the project fails catastrophic... Catastrophically... What the... Why can't I fucking read? <laughs> Leaving behind an opiate and hepatitis B infested slum. Okay, that's... Positive. Call Sylvie... Oh, it's call... Okay. The gardener. Okay. I literally just woke up. Oh, good morning. The popo -po phone. Yeah, I gotta go use the popo -po phone. Okay, so we call from the car. And we can talk to the gardener lady. We're watching the horny game already. Hello. I can't believe it's snowing again. The young woman watches the falling snow inside. It felt like springtime just a few days ago. My mom made pancakes. Oh, can you mail me one? Tell me, what exactly have you been doing in your greenhouse in March? Well, uh, this might be the last snow we get. At least I hope so. Snow has nutrients in it. Helps everything green up in the spring. At least that's what my grandma always told me. Does it? Isn't it just water? Yes. Think about the cute grandma, not the weird snow. Squint your eyes and look at her intently. The grandma is a bit too much. Stop looking at her. Look around. Oh. What do you see? The drama succeeded. The traffic, the, the plaza, the entrance to the yard. That's right. And the canal, the bookstore the harbor gates. This is a great vantage point for keeping an eye on you. Are you by any chance keeping an eye on us? Noted, but I'll keep it to myself. Glad to have been of service. Now you know the locals are keeping tabs on you. 
Oh, okay. So she's from there. She's watching me. Okay. Because I'm a scary drunk guy, probably. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Okay, radio. This is precinct 57. How may I assist you? Uh oh, this one. Uh, I need you to connect me to a civilian, a Sylvie. She may have reported a murder. Of course. What is the number, officer? Uh, Kim, didn't Gart give you the phone number? Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. Received. Hold on, officer. Start slapping a marching rhythm on your thighs. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Takes a Oh, whoops. Takes a bit to get to the phone. Officer, I have Sylvie Malaika on the line for you. No, oh, thank you. Yes, hello? A female voice greets you through static. Sounds like she's a million miles away from here. Uh, Sylvie, I believe we've met before. This is me, a detective from the world. <laughs> uh, hello, this is the police calling. I have some questions for you about your last days at work. Let's do this one. All right. Hello, officer. What can I do for you? Um, have you seen my gun? Uh, was it you who called the police? No. Not me. Do you know who made the call? No, sorry. I don't. <clears throat> Not a lot of people have phones around here. Copper thieves take the wires. People don't have the money to have the cables put in again. They use the Union's phone, or the one on the coast. Oh yeah, I lost my gun. You've seen it? Yeah, right? So the Union has a phone, and there's one further down the coast. Got it. But if they're the ones who killed them, would they call the body in? Today's one of those going late to work an hour and leave early in our days. I feel that. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Okay, next question. Yeah, go on. You quit your job at the Whirling. Why? You mean, why did I leave the bar? Honestly, I'm not really comfortable discussing it with you, sir. Why not? Oh, all right. I won't push you on this. Are you ever coming back to work? Maybe. I don't know. I just know I have to take some time off right now. Have you seen my badge? Yes, I know who you are. You're a police officer. The law. This exact conversation has happened before. <laughs> Establishing authority before this young girl seems to have been important to you in the past. Don't go there again. Girl, I wasn't asking, like, hey, have you seen my badge? I'm like, have you, have you seen it? My badge is missing. Oh, no, I haven't, sorry. Real policemen have uniforms too, by the way. Where's yours? Uh, no, my uniform too. God, I should really look into that. Kim doesn't have a uniform and he seems real to me. I'm gonna let it slide. I don't need answers for every little thing. Uh. He's in plain clothes, voluntarily. It's different from not knowing where your uniform is. Have you seen my uniform? Uniform? I, I never saw you in any uniform. <laughs> you had your things on. The disco things. Dis the disco things. Okay. I do hope so. Please don't call me again. Bye. Why does she seem angry with you? Yes, you have obviously done something to upset her at the whirling in rags when she was still working there. Wait, before you go, you're mad at me, right? Tell me, what did I do? I can't remember anything. I'm not mad. It's just you were so drunk and so emotional all the time and then... The skewer thing happened. It just made me want to quit. What? The stuffed bird. The great skewer. You threw <laughs> it against the wall while screaming, fuck that bird, and laughing like a maniac. I think you said it had been giving you shit ever since you got there. Bitch bird comes <laughs> coming to her. Ah, oh, this sounds like me, all right. That doesn't sound like anything like me. I love birds. Why do I always end up screwing everything up? It was a pretty bird. There since I started working in Whirling. I really liked her. We call her Scotty. Thanks. You hear a sigh of relief on the other end of the radio. Wordless, the call breaks. Then, 
the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? Uh, I'm done. 57, over and out. Her voice disappears into the void. In the cabin, you see a set of st Hmm. Yeah, I don't know who made the call. Um, uh, check down your gun. Check down your badge. I did inspect it. Oh, do I have, like, gear? Hold on. Do I need, like, a mask? Huh. Hmm. So this is like an old call box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Main hall building B whirling in rags. Nothing happens after you ring the doorbell. They don't want to talk to you. Uh... An off-key melody starts playing after you ring the doorbell. Then a woman picks up the receiver. Kudos! Please stop calling here. Grown-ups don't have time for your stupid games. She thinks you're the gremlin child. What would he say to this? <laughs> Try to impersonate Kudo. Uh, so please. Please open the door. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I thought you were... Yeah, I, I know I sound just like him, right? But the doorbell is broken, and the bookstore shouldn't even be on the list anymore. So I can't help you. Please don't call here again. Thanks. A single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. That was the library, the book, what? Okay, I'm so confused. Andrew Orlando Hair? You ring the doorbell, but no one answers. What an ominous name for a hair salon. Doesn't bode well for anyone's hair. Artemitaps boxing for young athletes in gym. All you hear is static, but no one answers the call. 24 hour window. You ring the doorbell, but nothing happens. Uh, Emma's fashion atelier? You wait for a minute or two, but all you get from the call box is so looks like someone has melted half the plastic off with a lighter. The doorbell doesn't work anymore. Slipstream? You hear static from the intercom speaker. It sounds as if someone has picked up the receiver, but isn't saying anything. You can almost hear them breathe. Hello? Yes, hello. This is a woman's voice crackling and fragile through the static. Have you come to place an order? She sounds almost antique. As if her voice was being played off an old wax cylinder. A receiver must not be working properly. Wait, but what happened to Slipstream SCA? There's no Tricentennial Electrics on the list. Uh, I thought I was calling Slipstream. Oh my god. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. Sorry? It's you. Oh my god. I didn't think I would hear your voice. She must be mistaking you for someone else. Who cares that you don't remember her? Just go along with it. <clears throat> yeah, it's me. Here I am again. Crawling back into your life. <laughs> Uh, who are you? Where are you? Michelle, just please. <laughs> Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. <laughs> of course I care. It's just that I've been going through some tough time. Clean. A spot of static overrides her words. 
When she speaks again, it sounds like she's submerged. It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget. Forget about what? She sounds like she's about to cry. Oh God, please don't cry. She doesn't answer. You said it was nice. What's so nice about forgetting? Silence. The only thing you can hear now is static and waves <laughs> washing ashore on the bay. Fuck! Hang up the call. <laughs> I get it. You don't want to talk to me. No one ever wants to talk to me. Another seagull passes by. It's getting cold standing here, staring at the silent call box. It must have been some kind of faulty wiring. We should maybe stop playing with this doorbell. It looks ancient. Fuck. You press the number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. Twelve name cards on the call box read. No. Hold on. The last thing you need in your life is more hysteric emotions. Forget it. Find something else to do. Fortress accident. Silence. No one's home at Fortress accident. Revishal Ice City. Silence. No one answers silence. No one answers your call. Poo. Mm, okay, so... Oops. Find booze and drink it. <sighs> Place the lost bool. Inspect the body. So I need something that makes it so I don't throw up. Check down your bags. Karaoke. Find a way into the secret passage. Okay, so they said there's a phone over by the thingy bopper. Hey. Hi, Ace Detective. Are you Nothing there, ma'am. I know what that noise was. Seagulls. I like how we walk together. If I if I like turn to the right, he turns to the right. We're in sync, he and I. Okay, so let me think. What is this? Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. Oh, I failed that. Lame sauce. Okay, so... I don't know how to get in there. Can I talk to her? The streets will flow red once more. A great torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. You wait and say. The girl stares at the sailboat by the pier. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking Skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I was tested for hep C. Let's get your blood type and go from there. Don't use that tone with me. I'm the law. We just want to know your name, little lady. No need to get offensive. Hep, yeah. Just answer some questions, okay? Away, pig man, but I don't promise to answer. Despite the sash, she puts the brush aside. Okay, she says pig. Did she buy my gun? You keep looking off to the side. What are you looking at? The lieutenant is desperately searching for another handkerchief. That is not what this says. She turns her head to face the coast and nods disdainfully towards Joyce, performing maintenance on her boat. Hatred, disgust. It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. The woman on the boat does not notice her staring. My puppy actually scared me. I didn't realize she was in my room. That is on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. You mean Joyce? On a first name basis with her, are we? Piggy's moving up in the world. Yeah, I don't like her either. Pig's not half as dumb as he looks. What are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aerial graffiti visible from low orbit. 
I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. I have an opinion on this. Want to hear it? So you don't know what to write. Have you ever tried your hand at graffiti? Oh, when faced with a blank wall, most people write unimaginative stuff, like pigs go home and Mono is here. We rarely see pigs round here, though. Just union cads. And my name's not Mona, so. Uh, why are you? I have an opinion. Want to hear it? Yeah. I love public art. Don't mind us. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. She means the opposite. Do you know anything about the recent murder? I ain't no snitch, Pigstein. Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. Ew. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Actually, there is a shortage of people <laughs> who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. Watch your back, ungulate. You've got eyes on you. Thanks, Cindy. Map? These are found white checks. Those on white are available to try now. Ah, okay. Oops. Yeah, I see that. But... I actually like that one's attitude. A sturdy metal door rattles again. Stop banging on the door! Tap it now. From within, come... Ha! <laughs> the police! No. I'll go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Oh wait, no, I already told you I won't be responsible for anywhere strangers getting into the building. Go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. Backyard door. There must be. Oh god, is it this? And I failed it? Hold on, is there a uh, door back? Okay. Let's go check. <laughs> hey, yo. I talked to that old lady before and she like didn't help me at all. Oh, can I open that? And I didn't? This one? So much for a quiet smoke. Oh, hey, can you let me in? You see a young man on a balcony nursing a cigarette. His eyes have been following you for a while. Not looking for any trouble, officer. He says in a quiet voice. Despite the cold, his shirt hangs unbuttoned on his frame. It's the voice of someone who has something to hide, my liege. <laughs> My liege, uh, you hiding something? Speak up, this is the police. No trouble from me, I just want to know what's going on here. Too late, young man, trouble's found you. I don't want to be seen talking to the gendarmerie, if that's okay. I just want to finish my cigarette. Don't let him go. This could be your witness. The balcony has a great view of the whole thing. Actually, the gendarmerie really needs to talk to you. Is it really that important? He asked you, adjusting his shirt. Like a nervous cat. He keeps stealing looks at the neighboring windows. All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. Uh, looks like you've got a good view of the Whirling's backyard. Can you tell me anything about the hanging? I'd even go so far as to say that the view is a little too good, my dear gendarme. Do you have an estimate of when the body will be taken away? We will remove the body as soon as possible. Now tell us, where were you last Sunday? Oh. You already asked me that, didn't you? Wait. Is someone else investigating the lynching? Did you? No, not you two. Some more muscular type. Oh, God. And when did you speak to this more muscular gentleman? So the mercenaries are investigating it? Last week? I don't know. Look. He looks around the courtyard again. Old patio chairs and dead house plants litter the scene. He's an actor declaiming a soliloquy. See how you hang on his every word? You didn't answer the question. What were you doing last Sunday? I had a friend over. What kind of friend? He was my Sunday friend. What's your friend's real name? Did he see something? He doesn't reply. Gesturing no with his cigarette. In the neighboring windows, you can see faint reflections of his silhouette. All from different angles. Can you tell me your name? My name? My name is Martin Martinez. That's definitely not his real name. 
You're not actually called Martin Martinez, are you? No, of course not. Could you please lower your voice? He scans the courtyard. It's silent like the bottom of a well, every sound captured and reflected back. No. We won't. He takes one last drag of his cigarette before stubbing it out on the balcony. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to get going. I could try. Time to bring out your secret charm. Tears and beg him. Show him your emotional side. Throw yourself before his very feet like a dog. <laughs> what do you want from me? Do you want me to cry? Huh? Please don't go. I'll stop drinking. I'll take the trash out. Just please don't leave me. Trash? The young man shakes his head in confusion. Listen, I really have to go. With a flick of his wrist, he sends the extinguished cigarette sailing over the rail. Good luck with the investigation. Okay. He walks away. Oh. Bye. Bro, can you let me in? He's gone. We should run after him. See where he went. No point in running. Tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk to us, then he'll know how to hide himself. So we just give up? He could be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. Either way, we need to look into that muscular type who's asking about our case. There has to be a way of getting inside the building. Let's go check out the door near the pier again. Once we found the way in, we can ask around for his apartment. Okay. There must be another way into the building. God, Kim, what? Where's the megaphone? Why are you? Why? That was terrifying. That was so scary. Okay, I'm fine. My heart rate. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so they want me to ask the lady again. A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment building. It's locked. Hold on, I got it. This could be a way into the apartment building the smoking man vanished into. Sorry, there's a, I got a message about house stuff. Uh, hey, are you there? I checked the backyard, but couldn't get in that way. Good. We had enough problems with bums and drunks and thieves loitering in the hallway. You have no business here. You can't think of anything convincing. Time for some police brutality. Um... I'm gonna light this place up, open up, we're gonna- Ma'am, if you don't open this door, I'm gonna introduce you to a lateral vascular neck restraint, and it's gonna hurt. Oh my god. No, you're not. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Despair creeps into you, getting fat on your weakness. Whatever noble intentions you once had as a police officer, it's eating them all up now. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? I'm seriously running out of shits to give. Let corpses hang on trees. I'm quitting. Fuck you. I'm wasting my life protecting humans. They don't deserve it. I'm done. No one even likes cops. I wish. Oh my god. Oh, hold on. Let me hide the camera. Oh. Thank you. Your haircut looks good. Thank you for the eggs. Yeah. Thank you. That's okay. Okay, what? Stop lying to me. Mean. Sorry, I have food. My fiance keeps me fed. Um. Okay, so is it game over? What's happening? No, no one even likes cops. Yes, it can be difficult to be on the receiving end of so much distrust and outright hatred. Nothing you can say would make you feel any better now. Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. Another police officer resigned from the RCM following a nervous breakdown. He now lives under a bridge, drinking and occasionally throwing excrement at passers-by, shouting, I never loved that woman. When asked to comment, former colleagues objected to the theory that his psychological disintegration was precipitated by his wife leaving him. It's because the furrows lost that match said Captain Ptolemy Price, once the man's superior officer. 
It's because he couldn't get a big gun from acquisitions. And anyway, police work really burns you out after a while. Satellite officer Jean Vicmer, the deranged former cop's partner, commented. Sergeant Mac Torson, another former colleague, did not propose any theories, merely saying, whatever happened to him wasn't about birds. He got fucked, that's all. Is this game over? Hey Dark, so I didn't get to ask how excited are you for the new lane? Oh, I'm fucking hype. I saw it. Well, I found out about it before I watched the, um, the direct. Which I reacted to, um, on YouTube. For anyone watching who wants to see it. And, uh, so I already knew. But, like, the minute the image came up, and you see his little top hat, I knew. And my heart soared. I'm just really hoping that Luke is in it. Otherwise, I'm going to be really sad. Because I like Luke and Lane's dynamic. I think it's a big part of what makes the game so much fun. Um, but I'm going to play it. Do you know how hype I am? Sorry, I'm so hungry. To have the ability to play a Layton game on the channel for the first time. Like, I don't even know all the answers yet. Which is also bad because if there's a sliding puzzle, I'm fucked. But, um, stream will have to end <laughs> if there's a sliding puzzle. Adult Luke? Adult Luke would be cute. Oh my god. Adult Luke would be cute. But I don't know if they do that. Wait, I lost? They didn't show Luke in the trailer, so I'd say it's 50-50. Oh god, I hope he's in the game. It depends on when it takes place, right? I mean, how far back is this? Oh my god, I should say- this is after I failed the jump? Oh god. <laughs> the switch, I wouldn't be surprised if the sliding puzzle is- Oh god. I'm gonna cry. Can I go talk to that guy? Oh, that's from the other side! I already did talk to him. Okay, well, that sucks. Have to actually rotate the switch? I will literally cry. God, I hope not. That's the one way you can make the sliding puzzles worse, by making them motion related. I will actually cry. Be still, the lieutenant. There's a good, vague way. I'm so Perhaps sad. But that day Okay, so it kind of sucks how it's like RNG at times because I don't know, like if I didn't fail that role, it'd probably be fine, right? You know what I mean? Wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be a puzzle where you have to like rotate the controller. Ugh. Oh wait, I didn't look at this. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. Hi, B. Welcome to the stream. Why am I looking at you, trash container? Just a trash container. There is no such thing. Your fingers start to itch just looking at that padlock. How do we get it open? We could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage. Or... <laughs> or? No, or! Pry bar! Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. He might also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't try and lose another... Uh... God, I'm like way back. Did I call Sylvie? Oh, I gotta do that again? Ugh. Okay, well, it wasn't Sylvie, so let's wait. I don't think I'll even be able to be on here. No worries, B. 
Thanks for popping in. It helps um, get the average viewers up, even just for a little bit, you know. Tim has drip. Yeah, Tim's got. Uh... I can't believe it's snowing again. Oh, I got it. Uh, I don't know if I can do it while stream is going. Hold on, let me see. Uh... Did it work? There you go. Okay, Golden, I made you a mod. I made B a mod. Recruit, do you want to be a mod? It felt like I'm just going to mash through this, all right? Well, uh, snow has Yes, think about the cute grand. Stop looking at her. That's right. Glad to have been a... All right, there we go. I just gave you mod right now. There it is. It's there now. Um, okay, so... Um, let me go. I have drip. I've been blessed. I was trying to figure it out, and I thought it didn't work, but it told me that I couldn't this mod Tim Tam. But levers, a radio Tim Tam's modded. Ah, uh, Sylvie. What is the yes. Yeah. Speed run. Give it a minute. Love you, sir. Yes. Hello. All oh, right. Hello, officer. What? No, not me. No, sorry. People don't. So the union. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner. Yeah, go on. You mean why? Why not? Maybe I don't know. Yes, I. This exact conversation. Oh. Real police will have uniforms. T He's in plain clothes. Volun. Uniform. I I never saw you. In I do hope so. Please don't. No. She doesn't have a problem with you. It must be you know where that's where you step in. Your Lieutenant Love. Matchmaker extraordinaire. What Miss so you have to think you can do that, Lieutenant Love. No, she doesn't have a problem with you. It must be someone else she's angry about. Some other guy like Gart. Yeah, it's definitely some other guy. A guy like Gart. You know women and their constant problems. Yak, yak, nag, nag. How's one supposed to get the love going like that? That's where you step in. You're Lieutenant Love, matchmaker extraordinaire. Help the poor girl out unless she turns into a spinster. I'm happy to help, but maybe I could do so with all this without all this internalized misogyny. What misogyny? I'm just telling things the way they are. Can't a man be honest in his own head anymore? You have to act, Lieutenant Love. You have to calm that hysteric down, tell it you've got everything under control, then go and have a little boys talk with Guard himself. Think you could do that, Lieutenant Love? What the fuck is going on here? When she gets subscriber tears, we'll all have founder badges. Yes, he will! Daddy, fuck off. Please no, I don't want to say any of those things. You're just a gimp. What? You want to be more empathetic? Refuse the love quest, although it's wonderful. Call was dominated by the other party. Anything else? Oh, officer? God. Okay, bye. In the cabin, you see. Bye. Bye, please. Bye. Please. Bye. <laughs> okay. What's there? We gotta open that. Secret passage. Okay, so let's go talk to the guy real quick. Um, if he has a key for the trash compactor, otherwise I'm prying it open with a pry bar. Misogyny fucking sucks. These eggs are really good. Blessed. Okay, hi. Real mature man. What exactly were you trying to accomplish? <laughs> You do understand you still owe me money, right? I'll pay it. Damn, your feet thought we got away. Mm. I'm sorry I know it was irresponsible. You have to understand I was desperate. You know what? The stupid drinks you've had are on the house. You know why? Because I know you can't pay for them. Not because you ran away. I'm broke. Now, I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window. That's a hundred square. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. You still owe me a hundred real. If you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you up there. Wait, I have it right now. I'll give it to you. Just let me eat some eggs. Now, what the hell did you want? 
I assume you wanted something to come back here. Oh. Sometimes I'm okay. Thank you for the follow. Oh my god, the notification is so cute. Love it. All right. Um. We the alert. I know it's so cute. I have my different emojis for like each one. Um. Hold on. Is the trash compactor out back yours? Mine. No, it belongs to the whirling in rags. <sighs> Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> Why do you keep the container locked? Why? To keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors, too. They put their trash there, and they don't pay for the garbage company. Hi, is it your first playthrough? Welcome to the stream. And yes, um, I did. I guess I technically got a game over from my morale <laughs> sinking, into the, <laughs> sinking into the ground. But that's because I failed a roll. Um, so I don't know. Like, I, I guess it. It is my first playthrough, but my second attempt, question mark? I don't know. We died. I, like, passed out. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Just don't get sad. I know, right? Gotta keep my morale up. Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what this feeling is. No, it doesn't. Nothing stirs in me. It isn't callous. It's common sense. Okay, then. Maybe you're callous yourself. Damn. I struggle with it, too. I played it for the last few hours and searched for Twitch streams about it. Yeah, it's 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 fun so far. It's definitely very interesting. I just think it sucks that it's like RNG to a point, right? Because like if I hadn't failed the role, I wouldn't have lost my morale and died. And it was like a 52% or something. So like it wasn't that that much of a stretch. What do you need them for? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. Nope. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Uh, about that money I owe. Yes. Have you got it? Uh, how much do I owe you again? A lot. For the room and broken window, a hundred real. Never mind. Like what? <laughs> I was really enjoying talking about the money you owe me. A new diver? Yes! I roll for happiness, roll the one reload. <laughs> I know, I need to save more often, man. Uh, I need a drink. Can you pour me one? Do I have a shaker in my hand? Is this... Is this a shaker? Points to... This is why he hates me, because I threw the bird against the wall and said, Fuck that bird. That's what... I mean, I understand. It's not a shaker. It's nothing. He's holding nothing. <laughs> it is but an imitation. Say nothing. Am I wearing a little bow tie? Am I wearing a bow tie and doing this... Mm -mm. Oh my God, Ed. Am I smiling? Do you see me smiling and shaking my little shaker? No. Do you know why? Because I'm not a bartender. I'm a cafeteria manager. Is there anything else you wanted? No. Play it calm. This man needs to understand you need a drink to help the community deal with police stuff. Also, I'm so sorry if you heard my jaw pop. It's been like really bad recently i don't know why but it used to just like pop every so often but now like every time i eat something it like locks i have to ask my dentist about it it's really bad i want a fucking drink asshole you don't understand the seriousness of the situation i'm an alcoholic i need my fix i'm an alcohol operated detective if you want me to clean up the dead body and solve the case then you need to insert alcohol into my mouth Oh, well, in that case, let me pour you a nice, big, refreshing marinella. Do you want that out of a glass or a pineapple? You do not want to taunt me, not when it comes to marinellas. Don't be an imbecile. I'm not going to serve you a marinella. I have work to do and broken things to fix. If that was all, I'd like to return to it. What is that emoji? Wodu Wogek? That is insane. With all the, the mouths. <laughs> Oh my god drink it out the bottle yeah can you just give me the bottle i've seen something here what at the thing oh we can ask about the door now i've seen something here at the whirling guard a thing i need to talk about i saw a sign that said the mess hall no there's a mysterious blue steel door in the back of the kitchen oh yes that door sure there's nothing mysterious about it it's just a door. What's behind it? Do you have... No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. 
and I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just the frit warehouse, probably. Over to the game's government, just like the old times when me saying you should drink coffee off the rug. Oh my god, that's a throwback. Uh, for reference, I spill things a lot, and so I think I spilled... Oh, was I, like, I was sitting on the ground, wasn't I? And I spilled coffee on the floor. Speaking of coffee, I have cinnamon roll coffee. Cinnabon. 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 <laughs> cinnabon cinnamon roll coffee. Which was eggs. Okay, I'm going to wait, actually. That's, like, weird with eggs. Uh, okay, warehouse. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Don't be on the floor. Junk Look. Dust. I've upgraded, okay? I'm I'm a streamer now. That was back in like the Bug Fables days. I used to sit on the floor, okay? Uh, oh. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. Let him get to pretend he's indifferent. I think he'd like to know what's back there. Fine, okay. A little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. Bro, I'll do it. So, I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Why are you so mean, Recruit? Wait, now you're a streamer? Wow. Um, okay. What? By the way, you should come back to this thing-based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Huh. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank. And this place sure isn't it. I don't need to think about my house right now. Hmm. It's become my brand. Context, you informed the Discord, shameless plug, that you had spilled coffee onto a rug and now you need to wash it, get a new one, unless I determined to not waste. Yeah, just suck it out of the... Okay. <laughs> just drink it. Okay, no, I don't like that sentence either. <laughs> I did used to record on the floor. I would like hunch over my laptop on the floor and it'd get very hot because I put a laptop on a uh, carpet. Need to pay for the damages. Ask around for money. I have money. Oh, we gotta open the trash container. Shameless Discord plug. I was like, do I have it on the background? I do. There it is. It pops up every so often in the bottom right. The guy have TikTok? I do. Yeah. YouTube, TikTok, and Discord. Hello, sir. Can you walk? Alright, do I need to equip these? Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Guess not. <clears throat> Will we find the trash man? It's gonna be, this um... This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. I don't remember where from you, but you can get a key for it. We just got it. I think we got it right when you came in or before. Open it. With a well-oiled crack, the lock pops open. It should now be possible to simply raise the lid. I don't know. That might be kind of hard. Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. Why? The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. Yum. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Mm. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. The victim's clothes? Cadaverine odor is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Dutch Bros Coffee? I don't think I've heard of it. I don't know why we're in the trash bee. Um, how come I've never heard of it? I'm Dutch. Drop them in here, officer. Ooh. Uh, Lieutenant produces a black plastic bag marked evidence from his pocket. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pockets. Empty. Or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too. A white belt. The loops appear stretched, but... He looks into the container. The belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Something slimy catches your eye. <laughs> Reach for it. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. Essential pantaloons. 
It's a Midwest brand? I'm surprised I didn't... No, I'm from the Midwest recruit. Maybe they do know it. What does it look like? Hold on. Okay, Chrome. I don't... Dutch Bros Coffee. Oh no. No, I have no I've never seen that in my life. Huh. How Midwest are we talking? Cause I was I'm from like cornfields. Cries in EST. I know now I'm EST. This is a military type over government. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? Hmm. The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. A yellow old mug that catches your eye. But other than that... Throwing out towel, a mug, that's all. All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. Ugh. Yeah, we need to ask the kids who put them here. You think someone from the Whirling might have been involved, maybe? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash. The lid was locked and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. I mean, I don't think the kids could have done it then. Because, like, it wasn't, the lock wasn't pried. The lieutenant nods, then looks back into the trash container. The mug. I'm getting that mug, too. You pick out a broken mug with an oddly racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. Stream die for a second. Are we okay? All right. It dipped. It dipped for a second. Oh, God. Come on, Wi-Fi. We're doing so well for so long. An antique? Take it. Mm-hmm. The lieutenant briefly glances at the mug then returns his sight to the You've I just want to sell it. An interactable item. Investigate this item further by going to the interact tab in your inventory. Shoot him almost there. I'll probably have to go beat up somebody emotionally through me dark. Love you all. Stay safe. I'll come back. Thanks, B. Thanks for popping in. Have a good one. You see milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Pasta. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. You've done this before. The movements are recorded in your elbows. The methodology in your fingers. You're used to this. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Nothing of note, however. Let's lower someone else's morale and give them a game over instead. Oh no. The container sounds a muffled gong. All right. That's one thing of the list. I think we got it all. Okay, hold on. Broken eared mug somehow made its way into the whirling and rags dumpster. It depicts a person of samurai descent, frolicking in a field of saffron flowers, buck tooth and grinning feeble mindedly. Seems to be a cheap knockoff of some colonial era antique. It's just a racist mug. What's there to read here? Not much. Look at all that content? Okay. What the heck? Who put the clothes in the trash? Let's ask Gart. If I show up an hour late to work and with coffee from a shop, they'll think that's why I'm late. Oh, I know. I always think that when I get Dunkin' a lot in the mornings because East Coast Dunkin' takes over your life. And it's cheaper than, uh, where's my broken window that I broke? Uh, it's cheaper than Starbucks. Oh, I can level up. Uh. Oh, I have six. Oh, no, total six. How many do I have? Oh, I have two. Um. Oh, endurance. Okay. And it's probably best to just try and like make everything, you know, better. Let's just do, yeah, sure. Maybe that'll help me jump over the fence. Also, my friend I get coffee for will be like, where's mine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Drugs raise learning caps? Is that what that just said? 
Hey, what's up, bruh? Can I help you? Here's your key. Thanks. I hope you found what you were looking for. I found the victim's clothes. How strange. I certainly didn't put them there. Maybe you don't remember putting them there. Maybe you were sleepwalking or in a fugue state. Could someone on your staff have put them there? Sylvie had the keys before I got here, and I can vouch for her. I can vouch for all my staff. None of us would tamper with the crime scene. Who else has keys to the container? The trash collection service, CS Municipal. I don't see why they would put anything in the trash, though. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Thank you, anyway. Hmm. Yes? Another thing. Great. Yes? Hmm. Huh. It may take a while. So... If I get Starbucks, she'll definitely be like, WTF, I get the drink, she gets it. It's so good. I don't really go there anyway. Yeah, I, I go there once in a while now. The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging your presence. This game is hard for me to follow, but I really like it. I always get distracted. I must do everything and remember everything and check everything. And prioritization is something I suck at. Oh, no, same. A lot, some of it, like, goes over my head. Like, I'm not a big history or political person, but I agree. I'm like, there's, like, 400 threads I want to follow and figure out. Do you know what's behind that door? He looks up at you, then looks away quickly, shrugging and muttering something to himself. Shrugging is an international sign for... No, I don't know what's behind that door. Can I pry it open? You see a heavy... Poo. Okay, so... We can try and get into the, into the door again. Not Nintendo mailing me to watch the trailer for a game I already pre-ordered. They're like, just in case you were going to change your mind. It looks so blue. I want to check the blue door. I know, right? I, I have a pry bar. Surely I could just pry it open. Okay, do I have to talk to this guy again since I died? I really don't want to talk to the child. Where is he at? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Hold on. Dang it. I move so slow in this game. I'm just walking around with a crowbar. It's terrifying. I wouldn't want to talk to me either. Okay, so we need to talk to the guy smoking the cigarette. Remember the game I first found you doing? No. Layton? Last time I talked to the child, he made me change career. <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling like I'd get a game over. I think he took away like two or three of my morale, probably. Oh, Marching Forest! That's right, that's right, that's right! I love that game. I knew it was an older one. My memory is dog poo poo, so I apologize. Finally went back to it. Oh, I saw that someone's been watching it. Do you mean playing it or watching my... Someone's been watching my playthroughs of it. I need to go back to do... There is something I didn't finish, but... There must be another way into the building. God, that scares the shit out of me. A balcony with a view to the yard and the hanging. Hey, did I ever talk to you? Oh, no, I'm playing. Okay. You see a young man on a balcony. Not looking for okay. it. It's the voice of someone who has something to hide. My I don't no want to be stuck. Let him go. Really need Is to talk to you. Like All right, but make it quick. Tell me your My name. name. That's def no, of course not. I'd even go so far. We will remove. Oh. Wait. Is someone else? No, not you two. And when? Last week. He's an act. You didn't. An <sighs> it was my son. He doesn't. Rep no. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to get going. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. I could try. 
This isn't the place or time for questions. Who knows who might be watching from the distance? Maybe make a save? The curtains. Oh, I should. Hey, listen. I'm just trying to make things okay, Yen. Can we meet again somewhere else? For a moment, the man on the balcony seems almost vulnerable. Something moves in the depths of his feline eyes. Compassion and a hint of understanding. I am sorry, but I really don't have the information you're looking for. I never actually played it. Oh, what the fuck is that, Tim Tam? I like the the D twenty roll. Pog bones. Oh, it's like a robot dog <laughs> or shark dog. See, I I succeed with a twenty eight percent, but I fail at fifty two. My luck. But hold on, what's that? For a split second, his hand lingers as though gesturing towards a stone placed right next to the front door. It's a sign. Good luck with the investigation. Thank you. Walk away. Cover girl, put the base in your walk. Head to toe, let your whole body talk. Is that a dick? Painted on the... Okay. He's gone. We should run after him. No point in running. So we just give he up? He could be a witch. He did okay. If we find a way inside the building... We can ask oh. around for his apartment. He did leave us a sign. Did you see that? He wanted to draw our attention to that stone over there. The lieutenant nods toward a small rock on a soggy patch of grass. Where? Oh. A stone, like any other, <gasps> lying in a whirl of sleet and mud. Yo, is it going to have Maybe a key? there's something under it. There's a key beneath it, rusty from the dirt. Yes! This must be for the front door. Pity doesn't have the apartment number on it. This building has many apartments, and a man can be in any of them. How are we going to find where we one? We'll just have to go in and see. Okay. Yo! I don't have to go threaten that old lady and lose the game. How do I save? Hold on. Alright. Morally, we're hanging by a thread, okay? Victor knows he's a missing pets. Flip up glasses. Okay. Boxes filled with cleaning chemicals, smells of laundry detergent. Ah, yes. I like the squid emote. That's cool. An old shoe rack. Boot sneakers and old slippers. These shoes come in three different sizes. Okay. Cool cats. Apartment 12, a loud rumbling snore comes from within. Wakey, wakey. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Shower curtains are covered in some sort of slime. Moss crawls in these bathroom tiles. Actual moss. Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, thank God. Alcohol. Ooh. Do I need to drink booze? Oh, what's that? Thank you. Oh my god, look at all these fancy emotes. I have, um... Who do I have? I have Small Ant. Oh, and I have Ifa. Look, I have the Whoopie Boy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ifa has one of his cat, which is the cutest thing. Look at this thing. Oh my god, his name is Nibs. Oh, adorable. Okay. Ah, a star. Someone has drawn a five point star on the wall. Nice. What the? F <laughs> what is that? What is that? A jiggly buff? Oh my god. Somebody said cat emotes? <gasps> I love cats. If you couldn't tell. Oh my god, look at that one. Uh, <laughs> not calm, that's me. Jiggly buff. Oh my god, those are so cute. Oh my god, look at those. I need the shovel bongo. That's what I need. I need all of these. Snoo? 
I'll have to go follow Snoo. This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn number on the board says number 11. No reply. It's a solid lump of metal, but the shackle is deeply corroded. A solid pair of chain cutters would make short work of it. Is that a cow? Milkers? Uh, okay, I'm out. Better whip out those cutters. You won't get very far. Hold on. Cutters, cutters, cutters. Nice. Uh. Okay. This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn. The shackle snaps like a twig, and the lock falls to the floor with a little thud. It should be possible to enter now. That was a big bite. <laughs> what is that? A mushroom shaking its butt? Nice. After you, detective. Ooh, I don't know about that. Find blind poster of a white star, real lithography. Photos of revolutionaries posing with guns. Books of critical theory on the monstrosities of capital. Oh god. Revolutionaries love to pose with their guns. A bullet? Uh, that makes me a bit nervous. Why well, I, got I got a singular bullet. Too bad I don't have a gun. Oh, nice. Look at me looking fancy. Damn. Let me in. You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. Is that a person? Janitor? Knock? The walking stops abruptly, but no one comes to the door. Hello? A poor communard, from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than a closet. What? This time the steps come closer. Who is this? Demands a female voice, wary and tense. Do I have to open the door? Oh, uh, you hear the clacking of heels again as the other side walks right up to the door. Her tone is now getting a defensive edge. Did you have a warrant? I'm not obligated to open the door if you don't have a warrant. Um. Let's go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. It's generally easier to do things if you have literally any reason. Reasons? Door number nine is locked. Oh, oh, there's the lady who said no to me coming in. That was really mean of you, by the way. Apartment number eight, their mailbox is overflowing. It sure is. Hi. Give me a moment. Elderly woman is leaning on her broom, her knuckles white as bone. She seems to be having difficulty breathing. Why does the broom have, like, a shovel handle? The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. <laughs> Ew. This woman's health is failing her. There's not much to do. Not in this damp. Are you alright? Should I call a doctor? I'm fine. Fine. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> Yo, is she gonna- I don't wanna, like, accidentally kill her by just talking to her. She starts coughing, red spots appearing on her cheeks. Now, what do you want from me, policeman? She's the cleaning lady. She knows the floor plan and the residence. Ah. I'm looking for a young male in his mid-twenties, dark hair, skinny bill, the smoker on the balcony. Yes, yes. I know who you mean. The scrawny boy who's always smoking like the devil. Right? <laughs> she looks at the other end of the hall. Somewhere in the building. A child starts crying. You hear a radio tuned to a talk show and someone taking a shower. What's he in trouble for? Uh, he's wanted for murder. He's going away for life. No trouble. I just want to talk to him. Do you know where he lives? Talk? <laughs> the cleaning lady starts laughing, but it turns into a violent coughing spasm. She squeezes her broom, trying to catch her breath. What was so funny about that? He lives upstairs in room 28. Go to the balcony. It's one of those doors there. 
fish you she home in the evening. Thank you. We should go check out his apartment on the balcony. See if he's home. Thanks, lady. Can I go in there? No. Who's this? Uh, foreclosed by Martinez Realty Associates. That means I can walk in here. A broken window. Sea below looks cold and winter gray. Can I go in here? Someone has torn down the wall. Hello? Okay. What is this? Old grocery list on the table and checks. Nice. Wow, my health is stacked. I need to start getting damaged. <laughs> I need to start jumping off of roofs or something. Firing squad for the rich. Ah. Most checks have secret difficulty modifiers. Talking to the right person can reopen. Oh, whoop, there we go. Ooh, what's that? Please be something for my morale. No. Ruination has come. The broken arches betray the once grand history of this building. It towered over the harbor until it happened. You'll probably, the, they said like the militia came or something. They were like throwing bombs. Pretty sure that would damage anything. Oh, what up? Hey! The streets will flow red once more. The streets will not flow. I'm Cindy the fucking skull. Oh, wait. What else do you want to know? I gotta wait talk to her again? Blood type. The last time I was test ask a, a brush that red dyed heavy fuel oil. The Lieutenant Hatred, the woman on. That is on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. On a first name, ba Pig's not half as dumb as he looks. What did you think I was using? Aquarelles? Sucked it out. You ain't seen nothing yet, Piggy Boo. I ain't no sn. Actually. We weren't put on this earth to make your. I ain't no Oops. Actually. We weren't. Can't you? T I haven't really started it yet. This place is so. I thought I'd mix. Have you ever tried? We rarely. Yeah. Lion is cool, I guess. She absentmindedly paints a red streak. Okay. Watch your back. Bye, Cindy. You were zero help. Um, okay, so hold on. A box. Money. What's this? Door is locked. Chair's new. Someone lives back here. Oh. Okay. Skull's kind of ominous. Don't be afraid to say weird things. People are more forgiving to persons of power. Oh shit. <gasps> A cat! Someone's been sleeping here recently. Cindy? Could be. Oh. 100 tiny feet scurrying beneath the grate. Oh god, rats. Actually, rats are cute. Enough cold to last for several winters. Smells of chemicals. Okay. Poor lone labor jeans. Okay. Wait, is this how I get to the... How do I get to the... Is that not the right balcony? Did I go to the wrong balcony? Hold the phone. I guess I did. Rats are cute and smart. We should normalize having them as pets. Yes, they are adorable. You can sleep after nine. Sleeping heals all your... Oh, thank God. Sleeping will heal our morale. Speaking of that, let me save. Hold on. Safe. Where are we sleeping tonight, y'all? Otherwise, we could possibly fail the game. Okay, is the... What is this? Can I look at that? Boogie Street. Okay, maybe there's a, another balcony. Oh. That isn't just a five-pointed star. It's an inverted white pentagram cradled in a wreath of antlers. The iconography of communism, in other words. Look out, Kim. There are communists around here. I'll get my armistice handy, detective. He doesn't actually reach for his gun. <laughs> I love Kim. Kim's a G. Oh, yay. So, wait. How do I get to the other... Oh, here we go. Balcony. Missed that door somehow. 
Oh, my kneecap. Oh. Gamer lean hurts. Near the entrance? Thank you. My eyes don't work. What is this? Curtain shift just a little. Someone's watching. Okay. Breaker box is full of cigarette butts. And electric wires. Money. Okay. What is this? Door. What is that? Someone's growing rosemary, thymes, and a cactus. So nice. Just a door. Nothing for you here right now. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hello? This door is made of metal and appears oh. to be reinforced. Here it is. Someone here really values their security. Number 28. This is where the cleaning lady said the smoker on the balcony lives. Hey, bro. Let's see if anyone's home. Knock on the door. No one answers. Aw, oh, come on. Where are you at? Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think our best chance to catch him is in the evening. We should return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? I don't think I can make it. Yeah, sure. Tomorrow, 9 p.m., right here. Apartment number 28. No way. Good, let's go. Damn. Turns out it's quite tricky finding someone in a big apartment building. Don't worry. You'll get him. Remember, tomorrow. He's probably gone for today. Complete silence. Whoever lives here isn't home. 30. Voices from within. Singing along to some buoyant dance track. Yo, can I borrow that for karaoke? Can I get over there? No. Ooh, what's that? Interesting. So, he said tomorrow at 9. So, theoretically, today at 9, I could go by myself. Because I think they said Kim leaves me alone at 9 o'clock. Who's that? Oh. Okay. There's bricks. Dangerous. Hmm. Low on health, put points into endurance. Oh, I did that without even realizing. Hmm. Smoke around the balcony, so. Nine. Da, 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 da. Sandwiches. Secret passage. Find booze. I could drink the booze. I don't know if I want to drink the booze. I guess we could ask the child about the uh, clothes in the trash. I don't really want to, but I probably should. Talking to that kid scares me. I wonder if sleeping will reset the uh, challenges I failed? Like a new day, a new start? Dude. Oh, I forgot if I hold that, I can look. Actually, I don't know if I, if I knew I could do that. Hey girl, what's up? Okay, so we called Cindy. Not Cindy. Sylvie. <laughs> Spoke to Cindy. I guess we'll go speak to the child. I don't really want to. Did I feel this already? There are several foot. I did. Okay, let's save in case the child ruins my morale. Hey, child. Fuck, does Kuno care? Ah. Kuno, I found your shack. You found Kuno's secret door to Kuno's secret shack? It was closed for 5,000 years? How the fuck did you get in? My face shifted through the roofing material. Shit. Get the fuck out of here! 
You can't do that. He can't do that, Kuno. He's trying to fuck at you again. Pigs can't displace. Can't do that teleport shit. He says to himself, then turns to you. How did you like it in there, pig old boy? Kuno's got a lot of cool shit there, right? Um. Could I get into the harbor? Of course you fucking can. How do you think Kuno made all the docky boys his gimps? Just gotta fly, pig. <laughs> yeah, I tried jumping off the roof. It did not. It did not. Kuno knows. Kuno and C saw you shit yourself. It's okay, pig. Not everyone can face the fear Kuno style. That's all there is to it, then. Don't be a pansy. Just jump. Is that my coat? Is it? You got pretty fucked. Kuno surprised you've still got your head after all that. After all what? Don't sweat it, drunk pig. Kuno will keep your nasty secrets. Kuno's not snitching. He's saying you climbed up there. He probably saw you do it. That explains the calluses on your hands. You scale the side of the building, entertaining the local kids. Oh, the kid reminds me of my bullies from school. Ugh, yeah. Yeah, that conclusively explains how the coat got up there. Mmm, what's with the pig head? Oh, that. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Uh... <laughs> cool pig that I liked it. I got one too. This one points to your head. It's shit. What? <laughs> eh. What is this shit? Fucking on yourself. This is weird level shit. Kuno doesn't go there. It's called self-deprecating jokes, child. Fuck your shit back to normal. What is this? Well played. No one saw that coming. <laughs> what is the team of Magnus Solum? It's a vitamin pig. Don't you know anything? He looks at you like you just pointed at the sun and asked what it was. It's magnesium, right? Yeah, it's the mag. You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mag like a motherfucker, and you could use a bottle. Oh, don't teach him, Kuno. He's going to use it against you, Kuno. I know about magnesium. I rock it all the time. Yeah, I use it when my morale is dropping. You're not getting this pig. It completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. Fuck you, pig. Don't do mag. You're gonna OD and you're gonna fucking die. Oh my god. Good call, pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. Uh, I have questions about the crime scene. Yeah. The kingdom of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? Uh, the dead man's clothes were in the trash container. How'd they get there? I was wondering about that trash container. Don't be wondering about Kuno's shit, pig. Uh, perhaps might have stashed something more in the container? Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Why the fuck are you telling this shit to Kuno? Did you do it? Yeah, Kuno doesn't know shit about that. That shit is beneath Kuno. I need to know. It could be a lead. Someone may have tampered with the murder scene. Listen, listen. Kuno doesn't care about this small time shit. Just listen. Kuno saw what you did there, dumpster diving. Sad shit. Kuno could hook you up with some sweet rags. Shit like Kuno's wearing? Your size, good price. 500 real. You'd have to be blind not to notice the giant white letters F-A-L-N running down his trouser leg. Wait, I asked you what happened to his clothes. You must have seen them lying around. Look, Kuno ain't seen shit lying around. Except for that f***ed up there. Now you want performance gear or not, Grandpa? The lieutenant remains silent. But his expression couldn't say, I told you so any louder uh what's so great about these pants pig these are foul modulars liquid fit performance crotch urban survival shit made in me over by scientists pants scientists pants scientists believe it you need this shit he unzips his jacket to give you a quick peek at the plastic wrapped pants they are graphite black and look brand new these could drastically improve your chances of survival in the urban wilderness pants scientists i know right coach physical instrument endorses these pants they are tartan ready they will also make you into an idiot let's talk about this later all right pico shit's rolling don't do business with the pig kuno He's going to steal all your money, Kuno. As you can see, Kuno and C don't trust you. Can't do business without trust. There's also a mug in the trash. The fuck? A mug in the trash? Is this about the fucking clothes again? 
does this quaint better not taken out of its historical context mug have anything to do with it? Um. Yeah, Kuno sees where this is going. Kuno's got that fast brain. You saying you picked it after the mug fucker because he's the clothes fucker? I can't hear you, Kuno. Speak louder, Kuno. It's exactly what I'm saying, Kuno. Someone has tampered with the crime scene, cleaned some of it up. Shit, that's tense. Someone's going to the beat down basement, huh? Mug guy gonna get tied to the radiator. He nods in approval. Kuno doesn't know who put that shit in there. And if he did, he wouldn't squeal. But if you find out, maybe you can... Tell the Kuno who it was. He's curious. He likes putting two and two together here. Stop turning into a pig, Kuno! They're trying to get you hooked on the snitching! Get away from my Kuno. Girl, you need to not talk about... Talk about... I Wait, you stop talking. Yeah, get your bacon shit away. Kuno doesn't like to be seen with the popo. Get your po -po. shit done and out of Kuno's face. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Kuno, you know you care. Hear that? Magnesium. That's what you're lacking. The lack of magnesium has you slouched. So there's a lack of magnesium in me? Yes, and it's critical. Look at yourself. You're practically devolving into a fish due to the lack of magnesium in your bloodstream. So I need to mag <laughs> mag it sideways. What are you talking about? You need to mag it up. You've probably had two heart attacks and a minor stroke already. And the only prescription is insane amounts of magnesium. One stroke. Don't be so modest. He's having one right now. You're saying I need to become a magnesium based life form? Yes. If you want to live, you need to evolve. You need to transcend the carbon barrier. What the hell? Go to the apothecary and buy insane amounts of magnesium. It will reverse the damage to your circulatory system. Okay. All right then. Um, gonna ascend to a higher state of being from magnesium. Who put the clothes? I don't know. Spoken on the balcony, pay for damage. Someone bought the gun. I don't know who. Knickknack stand. Sleeping dock walk. <laughs> what? Sleeping dock worker. My brain. Challenging. Empathy legendary. Uh. Shivers. It spends time. That one's four and a half hours. My god. Okay, so... Come on, Kim. Don't be slacking on me now, bro. Hmm. Where do I go to now? I don't have enough money for the record. Oh yeah, there's that asshole. How could I forget? The racist asshole. <gasps> Magnesium. How many bottles you get rid of? The tear machine stands in the corner. Your bottles clunk into the machine, and the money appears with a satisfying g Oh, what if God was one of us? I know that song. What if God was one of us? I don't remember who sings it, though. Oh, can I go in there? Yo. A lorry stuck in the traffic jam. This big, heavy, grad-made machine is well kept for such an old machine. The windows are clear. They've been recently washed. You can see a lorry man's cabin with personal belongings, stickers, insignia. The back end of the cabin has a small perch to sleep. 
large ashtrays. There are several suns and wheels sewn into the curtains. A book with ragged edges catches your notice. Oh God. The front cover features a large muscular man. The title reads, Not Man Yandel. from Yelmdal no. in the Lost City of the Pygmies. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guy. Ah. Getting my shop coffee. Hey, gothy. Likely, yes. This guy's proud of who he is. Drapes it all over Ooh, his Ooh, frap. Machine. Did you know on the East Coast, I learned this very recently, a frap is like a slang term for a milkshake. And I didn't know that. And so like one time we were talking about ice cream and the one guy was like, oh, when I go to ice cream shop, I always get a frap. And I was like, oh, you get coffee? And he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, a frap is a milkshake. I was like, why don't you just call it a milkshake? <laughs> I was like, I was so confused. There he is, in front of Frita, smoking nervously, hoping it's over. Hmm. So, did I talk to this guy? Bastards! We have a right to work! What's going on? Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. The broad-shouldered alpha male turns to you. He's a full head taller than everybody else. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Why should I? We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. Okay, then I'm thinking no. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Uh, I have some questions for you. Maybe you should ask them the questions. Like, why we're not allowed to make a living here? Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. Oh, the lawyer and manuals in return. I want to get into the harbor. Who are all these strike breakers? Honest men and women with rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. The man runs a hand through his steadily graying military haircut. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No. They follow the rules of the market, the rules of the economy, because they were given a job to do! Bro, I want to get into the harbor too. Have fun. Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. I'm trying to meet their fat boss. I'm interviewing people about a murder that took place here behind the hostile cafeteria there. I know nothing about a murder. Absolutely nothing? Wouldn't put it past these harbor bugs. They'd do anything to stay alive. Right to work! It's shameful. Cops doing nothing. You should bring back up. Open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. Sure, why not? Why not? I see numerous reasons not to pick a side in this local matter. See that Dutch Rose place I go call their fraps a freeze? Oh. Pity. Let us work! What is a strike? I'm just gonna leave now. Okay, I don't know if that was any help, sir. What is this? They're not Dutch, I guess. It says G R I H. Greater Revishal Industrial Harbor. Okay, so that guy up there, I can try and push past him. That's not gonna work. Uh, cause I'm weak. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. That guy's not gonna be any help. At all. So we need another way to get into the blue door.
And we also need to get these guys their ball back because I stole it. Well, I threw it <laughs> like an imbecile. There's that guy. This is the shop, right? Oh, oh God, not an auto save. Okay, so. It's a shop, right? Yeah, okay. Um. Dark hello, Hollow. hello. Do you Let plan me know if I can help you with anything. Streaming for? Uh, I'm probably going to stop at 11, so like 20 minutes. Sure thing. I sold you my gun. You, uh, you were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. Said you were undeserving of a service weapon of the River Shoal Citizens Militia. The founders were last named Borsma? Oh. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts photon emissions. The unhealthy kind. Thanks. Sure, man. Uh. Sure. Let me have a look. I'm not purchasing any more clothing at the moment. Anything else you're thinking of selling? Nice. Another time, perhaps. The boomboxes wait on the shelves. Twelve. And your boombox, that gold and amber, Harmon Walshi. I'm poor. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback. I looked at that. That is a Dutch name. Guess their ancestors were Dutch. <laughs> yeah, so Dutch bros. Huh, okay. Bruh, dark, what, what, what'd I do? Bench. Okay, sir. It's so hard to get over there. I have really held down. Yes, that's what you need, Gaston. Rene, tsk, tsk. it's a little pleasure. Life doesn't need to be a, um, a struggle. Hello, officer. How might I be of assistance of this fine day? Oh, did I not throw the... No, I did. Tell me, what do you know about the dead man? Let me think. I heard someone was hanged and left on a tree for a week. But that's all I know, really. You must have heard something. No, officers. I'm sorry. And I really would like to assist. You are both good guys. I can see that. Oh, so he's not mad at us, but his friend is, because I threw the, the bauble or whatever. Then help them, you wimp. You have plenty of shoulder with the ghost caviar in the Union. Someone must know something. He means caviar socialists. I wish I could, but I just don't know anything. I always keep my nose clean and don't gossip. Everyone knows and respects that. Odd. He doesn't seem to be lying, but there's something off here. Sounds a bit like you're holding back. I'm not. I'm not even any... Of course he's holding back. His mouth is so full of union prick he can't even speak properly. Oh. Can I at least finish my fucking sentence before you piss on it? Is that okay, René? I'm not anyone impotent in the union. I just know Evra. Your back's been hurting, but here I go to your physical labor. Oh, be careful, all right? Evra Claire. Everyone in Martinez knows the Claire brothers. I taught this boy's human studies and history in the gymnasium. What do you know about history? You never witnessed history, only heard about it years later when it had already moved on. You don't know history. Damn, roast him. 
The old soldier mumbles something under his breath and turns to face the sea. There he stands, proud, rigid and alone, like a cracking marble statue. Let's try not to get caught in a crossfire. Oh, in many ways, yes. Like an honorary member. I attend meetings and parties, help with little things. Evrard, Edgar, and the older debarders all know me. In many ways. Oh, yes. So you're not an actual member. Not in the technical sense. I don't have a vote or a membership card. But Evrard keeps me on the payroll. Just for the little things. So that's what it was before. Him hiding something. He tries to make it look like he's a big deal in the Union. And now the illusion is disintegrating before your and Rene's eyes. Ah. He doesn't know anything. Because no one tells him anything. He's an outsider. Of course he's not a member. He's not a member of anything. I knew that. He's a Vezavain. Comes to where the wind blows and tries to look important. I hate the socialist rabble. But even siding with them is better than living your entire life on the fence. Never committing to anything. Pick a damn side already. What are the little things you do for Everett? Writing work mostly. Occasionally, he needs something written and I happen to have a way with words people say. What kind of things do you write for him? Oh, nothing official, I assure you. Just essays for the newspapers. About Martinez and how things are and how they could be. Everhart and I have this long talks where... Where he tells his little penman exactly what to say. It's commie propaganda, plain and simple. You should be ashamed of yourself. I don't even consider myself a regular socialist. Politics is not really something I involve myself in, officer. That's smart. I keep my nose clean too. Just easier that way. Besides, life isn't as black and white as René's of the world tried to make it seem. It's all shades of gray, really. He's not using Union rough him up. No, we're gonna fight him. Come on, you. That's all. No, thank you. Looks delicious. For Can... being consummate professionals. Oh. You'll have this case wrapped up in no time. I'm sorry, officer, but I really don't share food. Nothing personal. It's just a principle. The only one you have. Suddenly you realize how hungry you are. The last time you ate must have been... God knows when. Aeons ago. Probably when you were still a child. The sandwich looks like a culinary wonder. Well made and abundant in components. The author sure knew their craft. In addition to the obvious slice of ham, a fat one, you notice a brim of a tomato peeking from below. And is that mayonnaise? Please, man, can I just have a bite? Don't be a dick guest and there's plenty for everyone. Okay, I'm not that hungry anyway. Oh, that's good. That's very good. You must have other business then. <laughs> a fat ham? Oh, God. Convince him to really like, what you're saying. Why should we get minus one because we threw the bull in the sea? <sighs> Sorry, man. My bad. Hey, what up? We're still waiting for a replacement for the bull you sent. Yep, he's still mad. He's mad about it. I don't blame him. Hog. The things I've seen. I will right, we'll talk to the drunk guy. I don't know if I've already talked to him. Die. Oh. Oh God. Oh. I can't talk to him. Oh, did I search this one? Yo. Anything over here? No. All right. I'm just going back through all my options. I don't know who to talk to. Hmm. I don't want to go into the bookshop and hear more about Hemdal or the head the guy's name is. Hemdal, Hyam the muscular Fabio on top of all the books. Um, I mean, we could ask what's her face about stuff. 
but I'm trying to think if there's anyone at the hotel to speak to. We need to find a way into the blue door, but I don't know if we will. Oh, oh, can I talk to him? Yes. You seem to be following me. Uh, I want to talk about you. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. Tell me about the case. Uh, I don't know. Like, bro, why are you following me? He is keeping an eye on me, and I hope he doesn't betray me, but... You're back. Good. What can I help you with? You seem rich. Can I have some money? Is what you want to say, but it isn't that easy, is it? Why not? Look at that lady. Take a gander. What Squeeze nice... your eyes, bub. Fabrics. Why, yes. Tucked away under that sturdy green raincoat, almost rustic in its simplicity. A silk shirt and matching scarf around her gentle throat. Why is gentle? Why is that the word? While dull orange pearls hang from her earlobes, red from the cold. Her light green eyes scan you, full of knowledge and worry. Wealth and all its possibilities. These are the kind eyes of the rich man that seem to say everything is possible, within reason. Now look at you. You misery-clad simian. Barely able to tie your own laces. Your armpits are lakes. A scythe of boons precedes you. Your hair sticks to your forehead and your underwear feels uncomfortable. You're poor. Poor as balls. You can't ask this person for money. You're too... What, what happened until I'm like roasting myself? Ashamed? I'm not ashamed. What is this feeling? I've never felt it before. I'm a goddamn working man. I'm not ashamed to shake this leech for some dough. As I should be for even considering it. This is a woman and I'm a man. Ugh. Yes, I should make my own goddamn money by now. Um. Yes. You're too ashamed to ask this person for money. Too scared to belittle yourself in her eyes. Those half-precious stones of Odinu. As I was saying, if there's any way I may be of assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Heard of billions. Did not tell her about the investigation. Ah, uh, all right. Well, maybe we go back to the hotel. Explore. I would only ask wealthy people for money if it comes to that. Shake my head. I know, right? I guess I don't need it. Well, didn't he say a hundred rail for the room? He has no issue to ask a racist for money. Yeah. The other guy's a piece of garbage. I just I thought for some reason I had a hundred rail and I definitely don't. I think I was reading it as ten. Yikes. But he said if I can't pay it, he won't let me back in my room. Where am I supposed to get a hundred from? Maybe if I sneak back upstairs, he can't kick me out. I could go check, I guess, around the hotel. And see if there's anything I can do. Good pay up. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't have any money. Let me ask her again. You got anything? Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Does that mean you like me? Who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. I'm no sweetie. Look at me. I never finished the first date, but I hope I can somehow sneak inside or something. Maybe I am. And have you found anyone to be sweet to? Hello, internet. We're okay. Oh, I thought I broke it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, have you, but no, I'm done with mating rituals this time around. I don't know. Maybe I have. I had once, winked twice, but then I lost her. I don't really want to talk about that right now. I don't know. Maybe I have. You rascal. I'm too old for you and too married besides. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. 
She slaps herself on the forehead. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Her eyes glitter over the rims of her glasses as she looks up smiling. You seem to be in a chair. Why would I say that to her? How would you like to roll with me? Why would I say that either? I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't know where I am or what I'm doing or anything. Sweetie needs money. Do sweeties get money? I, <laughs> I need. I do need money. Oh, sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your uh, financial troubles. When do you get your next paycheck? Tug on her heartstrings. That feels bad. What is a paycheck? I haven't seen any paychecks. You must be joking. Although our pay does sometimes feel like a joke. It's not easy to assert your right to a decent living wage when you don't have a strong union behind you. Maybe you should talk to Everard, the union leader. Interesting idea. This Everard sounds powerful. Maybe you can wrangle some coins out of his pocket. Right. Oh, no, I'm so sorry I don't have money for you. If, if there's anything else I can do for you, just ask. I don't know if you noticed, oh yeah. Yes, officer. You look rather dazed. Like a stunned fox. But surely things can't be that bad. Her eyes follow your movements with some concern. I drank so hard I forgot literally everything. I hope you're right. I hope it's not too bad. Oh my. You know where we are, right? Ah, uh, the Whirling Rags cafeteria it was on my keys. We're in Revishal on Ins Insulindi. I don't really know. Some seedy hotel? A war zone at the edge of the world. We're dead, haunting each other. We're ghosts. Um. Now, now. She tilts her head as she looks up at you with maternal solicitude. We are alive in a hostel called the Whirling in Rags. And the Whirling itself is in the city of Revishal. Mm hmm, okay. All I know is that Revishal used to be really cool in the 30s. Revishal is the disgraced capital of the world. Something like that? Honestly, I don't know diddly squat about Revishal. What kind of place is this? Um, I think we know a little bit. Yes, and Revishal? Uh... Yes, great. See? We're getting somewhere. What else do you know about our city of splendor? Tattered as she may be. She was cool in the 30s? The new. Disco dancing. Disco. It seems like a lifetime ago. Her eyes are filled with light reflected off those gilded years when the city seemed full of possibility. Much has changed, but it is still the most beautiful city in the world. A rare jewel set in the sand between the pines. Everyone says so, even foreigners. There's a pause as she studies your expression. You must look quite lost. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? Uh, it's the spring of 51. Sure, it's the year 973. All I know is we're approaching the end times. It's a bad year in my late 40s or 50s. So I don't even know how old I am. There, there. The year is 51, and spring has only just started. I'm sure there are better days ahead. She looks flustered, her hands smoothing out the creases in her blanket, even as she attempts to reassure you. The lieutenant studies you, rubbing his chin. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? Cop. We are living under the cop regime. Radios are being used to control people's minds and distort our perception of reality, concealing our true masters, foreigners, and women. They're governed by intelligent machines that perform calculations to determine the freest market. Everyone hustles and grinds like a badass visionary. Our leaders are fierce warriors who traverse the plains on steeds. Civilization cowers before us. I'd like to think it's the dictatorship of the proletariat, but something tells me it's not. Some kind of democracy, maybe? Radios. Oh, no. Nothing like that, dear. Revishol is a zone of control led by an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have almost no government of our own, and certainly no matriarchy. Five is the average Facebook user response. Four is American Twitter. Ugh. She's trying to avoid the foreigners part. This is because she's a woman. She may be lying to you. There's no co- I almost said if there's no cops. If there's no government, how come there are cops? I don't even know what to say. I'm so disappointed. Oh dear. This is troubling. 
You really ought to know that, being one yourself. There aren't any cops in Revachol, not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. She told me to end stream? Is it the fourth wall being broken? Hello? She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Who could tell me more? Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. She turns to Lu Lomia, the lieutenant. No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Oh. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. Joyce! That's a good point. This doesn't look like rich central. Goodbye. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. She gives you a small wave. Oh, well, thank you. What is the... Oh. Okay, rich people are educated. Ooh. All people are educated in how the working class does not work. I... Oh. That is a whole can of worms right there. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Can I grab those? Where are they? Wait, is that a room? Oh, oh, no, it's not. Oh. Okay. Alright, well, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me save. Alright. I will call it there. So thank you all for being here. Um, I'm happy to see we're on our way to affiliate. We got 14 followers. I, I can't even do numbers. That's so exciting. I love the notification that pops up. Uh, so welcome to the new people and thanks everybody for being here. Um, what is this? After we go, ba, da, da, ba, da. See a container you can't open? Need time to pass? Buy a book. Oh, really? Revishol. Need to do something behind his back? Sneak out. I feel bad doing that. All right, anyways. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I was distracted. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all have a good one. Uh, have a good rest of your day, night, or evening, or afternoon. And until the next time, everybody, lights off, dark, out.